Hi everyone, welcome to Awaken Into Love. This is the place to be if you're looking for wisdom, support, education, compassion, and an incredible community of people all around the world just like you who experience relationship OCD and anxiety. This is also the place for you or especially the place for you if you're just looking to use your suffering and your challenges as a way to awaken deeper into a state of deeper fulfillment, intimacy, love within yourself, your life, and your partnership. So today's video is a little bit different. I have my podcast mic set up here. I have my candle set up here because I am setting up the environment to do a beautiful guided meditation with you today, all on the power and practice of rewiring the brain through compassion. Now, compassion is such a key component to the work that we do with Awaken Into Love. We even have a necklace all called the Awaken Into Love Compassion Necklace because we really believe that true healing and true peace lies in the power of compassion. You've probably heard of acceptance, you've probably heard of kindness, you've probably heard of ACT, Acceptance Commitment Therapy, which is all a big part of OCD work. But at Awaken Into Love, we take it a step further and we bring in the power of compassion because we believe that true compassion to ourselves helps open our heart in a way where we tend to experience more peace and intimacy, not only within ourselves but also within our partnership. So when we're practicing and we're rewiring the brain toward more compassion to ourselves, and we develop more empathy and kindness to ourselves, then in turn, we actually develop more empathy and kindness and love to our partner. So it's a beautiful win-win situation. When we are working on awakening within ourselves, it actually translates to our partnership. So I really felt called to help you in a deeper way through the power and practice of compassion. And so today I'm going to be leading you through a deep meditative practice where I take you through the practice of breath work, mindfulness, somatic work through the body and bring in a power and an essence of compassion in order to create different wiring in your brain, different grooves in your brain to create a new path toward compassion to yourself, which will start to ripple in your life and ripple in your relationship and also help the ROCD tremendously. I really believe in the power of cognitive work, belief work, exposure work, but I also believe in the power of us being whole human beings where we need to access the body somatically through mindfulness work, through compassion work, and through other practices in order for you to experience deep transformation. So before we dive into meditation, I want to talk a little bit about it. And if you've done meditation before, especially guided meditation, you can just fast forward and start the meditation right away. But for people who are new or you're still kind of skeptical about it, there's some things that I want to tell you that are so normal when you're starting these practices. The first thing is that it is expected and it is normal for intrusive thoughts to be coming in and out throughout this meditation practice. There is nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'm going to invite you to celebrate it when you recognize the intrusive thoughts coming in or intrusive images because it just means that you're becoming more aware and you're able to step back and label it, which is a huge part of doing this work anyway. The second part I want to say is that you might feel different emotions and different sensations during this specific meditation, and none of it is bad. If you notice yourself crying, if you notice yourself feeling a little bit nauseous, if you notice yourself getting emotional or just feeling different sensations within the body, that's okay. A lot of times it's just a release that's happening, and it's usually a good sign. The third thing I want to end off in is that you are always welcome to pause these guided meditations. If you ever feel overwhelmed, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling uneasy, you always have the opportunity to pause the video and to watch it later or just not watch it at all. So that's something I really really, really, really want to add. Now, you might be curious about the aspect of meditation of how it could possibly be compulsive. This specific meditation that we're doing is actually helping to rewire the brain. We are bringing in this new habit of compassion for yourself in order for you to take this into your daily waking life. So we're not using this compulsively. We are using it as a way to actually create the muscle and the wiring of compassion. So let's start. 
Make sure that your phone is completely off or it's in airplane mode and you are in a space that feels quiet and peaceful for you. So you may have to close your door, you may have to tell your partner or someone in your house that you're gonna be going into a little bit of a practice. So to not be disturbed for the next 20 minutes or so as we're going deep. Make sure that you are feeling comfortable in your room. I have some candles next to me, I have some incense because I like to set myself up for this outer sanctuary around myself to feel a little bit more grounded and comfortable. So if you want that stuffed animal, if you want that pillow, if you want that extra blanket, I'm gonna invite you to go get that right now before we start. When you're ready, I'm gonna invite you to come into just a comfortable position. So you're either welcome to sit down with your back against the wall or you're welcome just to lie down with your back on the bed or on the couch, wherever you're lying down on. And the first thing that I'm gonna have you do is just scan the environment that you're in. So look around your room, notice the colors of the walls, or maybe you're outside in nature, notice your surroundings. Notice where you are, notice where your body is in this moment. Feel different sensations around you, so touch different objects around, notice the different colors in the room. Notice what you hear, notice what you see, and notice what you smell. So this quick grounding practice is actually really good for anxiety in general. So if you're ever feeling anxious, it can be really helpful to just notice five things around the room, four things you can touch, three things that you can hear, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. But for now, I'm just going to invite you just to notice, just scan your environment and notice where you are. And after you do so, notice where your feet are touching. Notice how it feels to touch the surface underneath your feet. And notice your back against the wall or lying down. And then when you're ready, start to gently close your eyes or have a soft gaze at the floor and start to bring your attention into your breath. So we're not going to consciously change the breath, but I'm just going to invite you to become aware of the breath. Notice yourself inhaling or notice yourself exhaling and start to become aware of what it feels like just to breathe. As you're doing so, consciously relax your shoulders away from your ears. Allow your palms to rest on your lap or right by your body. And start to just soften into the space that you're sitting on or the space that you're lying down in. Allow that object just to hold you throughout this practice. There's nowhere you need to go. There's nothing you need to do but just to be here listening to my voice. Remember, thoughts are going to come in and out. It's their job. You might have doubts coming in and voices coming in and critical voices coming in. They're not you. But just notice them and label them and bring yourself back to my voice and back to your body. I'm going to invite you in this moment to place both hands on your heart and start to take about five nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. With every exhalation, see if you can elongate the exhalation, making it a little bit longer and slower than the inhalation.
and taking a couple more nice deep breaths in by yourself. And as you breathe in, listening to this recognition that there's no wrong way to do this. Just continue to bring yourself back into my voice and back into the areas that I'm inviting you to bring attention to. You are already brave and courageous for being here. And you are already enough for being here. Start again to feel the surface of where your feet are. And start to feel your sit bones and your back as well. Just feeling that support the objects that are holding you. And in the next moment or so, I'm going to invite you just to imagine a cord from your tailbone moving all the way down into the floor, down out of the house that you're in or the space that you're in, down all the way into the mud of the earth. So imagine yourself being completely connected. Imagine that cord being grounded into the earth. Continuing to breathe as you imagine this cord, again, moving from your sit bones, your tail bones, all the way down into the earth, spiraling underneath and being rooted into the ground. When we're in obsessive thinking or when we're so consumed in our head or we're in rumination, it can be so easy to forget that we are always supported. It can be so easy to be disconnected from the body that feels so much emotion, that feels the anxiety because it feels scary to be there. When in fact, there's another piece of us, there's another place within us that's asking for attention, asking us to come back into the body to remember that we are supported. Continuing to feel this connection again from your sit bones all the way down into the earth. This practice itself can be such a great way to feel a little bit more grounded and more in our body when we feel so much into our minds. And then whenever you're ready, just letting go of this image of this cord, but knowing that you are completely connected to the earth. And start to bring your attention back into your breath. Feeling again the inhalation and exhalation of the breath. No need to change it, but just noticing it. And in the next moment or so, we're going to start to bring our attention deeper into our body. So there's three areas within our body that we usually store a lot of emotion. These are really connected to the fight or flight centers, connected to different feelings within the body that feel uncomfortable or can also feel really pleasurable. The throat, the heart, and the stomach. And what I'm gonna just invite you to do is to bring your attention to these three centers. And notice if there's any feelings or sensations in these areas. So maybe there's a sense of tightness in your heart, a flutter in your stomach, or feeling of blockage or nervousness in your throat. And what I'm going to invite you to do is just to notice that and label it out loud. So saying out loud to yourself, whatever you're feeling, it might be heart tight, stomach fluttering, throat open. 
and just say these words out loud to create a sense of distance and separation and charge from yourself to the sensations in your body. They are not wrong. They are just sensations, emotions, and energy that's separate from you, but then to come in and out of your body. If you notice yourself feeling overwhelmed, just connect back into the cord or connect back into your breath. And if you're not feeling anything at all, that's okay too. You can label that as well. And then in the next minute, I'm going to invite you just to imagine your breath moving through all of these parts within your body. So as you breathe, as you inhale, you're giving yourself space to allow whatever is there just to be there. And as you exhale, imagine the exhalation softening any areas of tightness or discomfort. Imagine the breath just moving through these energy centers, the throat, the heart, and the stomach. And with every exhalation, feeling the breath softening and holding those emotions or sensations. Can you allow these emotions to just be? Can you allow the breath to move through the emotions and hold them for you? Can you continue to breathe into the sensations and feelings that you experience in your body while knowing that you are supported? that I am here with you, and that you are connected to the earth. In the next minute, we're gonna to start to bring in another layer of protection and safety through a visualization. So I'm gonna invite you in the next moment just to imagine a white light at the top of your head. And this white light is a light of complete protection and safety. It's almost like though it's a bubble, a bubble of light. And just imagine this bubble of light moving down your face, down your shoulders, down your neck, down your arms, and surrounding you with complete safety. There's nothing that can come in. Things can leave, but nothing can come in. Imagine the sense of safety completely holding you and supporting you. Knowing that you have this cord that's connected to the ground, but also this complete safety surrounding you in this light. Continuing to breathe as you imagine this beautiful light surrounding you, moving through you alongside of your breath. Feeling yourself completely held by this light of bubble and also this breath that is supporting and moving through the sensations of your body. You are supported, and I am here with you as well.
you might have noticed by now that maybe some thoughts have come in, have creeped in, have checked to see how you're feeling, have doubted, have questioned. Recognize the mind's job, which is the monkey mind, always coming in to make sure that you're okay. <laughs> but in an overprotective way, just recognize and notice and then come back into your body and come back to my voice. Now in the next moment, we're gonna step into a deeper method of compassion where we're gonna purposely visualize a person, a being, or even an object that embodies a sense of deep compassion and kindness. So this could be a person that is alive, a person that has passed, or a being that is alive or being that has passed. Or it could even be a spiritual being as well. I'm going to invite you to not pick your partner and pick something or someone else instead. And pick the first being that pops into your mind. So this can also be an animal that's extremely loving. It doesn't have to just be a person. But you're going to pick a being that is full of kindness and embodies a true sense of compassion and warmth. Notice what this being looks like. Notice how this being feels when they embody this love in this compassion. You can even imagine that their heart is radiating the sense of light and complete warmth and kindness throughout their whole body. Maybe this being has a smile on their face, maybe they are just engulfed in this deep care and unconditional love. And just imagine this being being filled with that unconditional love. Ask yourself how you know this being is full of love and con compassion. Is it how they look at you? Is it how they feel? And if so, what does that kindness and empathy feel like for you? Start to become curious and start to just play. Now in the next moment, I'm gonna invite you to imagine this being sitting or standing right in front of you. And continue to imagine this being filled with love and filled with complete unconditional compassion. And see this being approaching you and coming closer and closer to you. And as this being comes closer to you, start to imagine this radiating sense of compassion starting to touch your body and starting to touch your heart. As you look at this being, you notice that they are looking at you through the eyes of deep, unconditional love. They are smiling at you because they love you. They see you in all that you are, 
They see you in all the feelings and thoughts that you experience. And no matter what, they love you. They accept you. They acknowledge you and they see you and love you in everything and all that you are. Imagine this being looking and feeling so endeared to you. Almost as though they're looking at you as if you were the most magnificent being in the world, which you are. And start to feel their love and their compassion melting into your body and surrounding you just like that protective white light all around your body. Now I want to add that if there's a part of you that feels resistant and feels hesitant to accept and to feel this love, know that you are not alone and that's okay. But see if you can in this moment even allow their love and their kindness to move through any type of resistance and even love the resistance and the blockages that you are feeling? Can you allow yourself even just for a moment to feel that kindness that they have for you? Even if there's fear, even if there's a sense of complete uncertainty and resistance to the love. Can you even just for a moment allow yourself to feel and know that you are accepted and loved in all that you are? Continue to breathe, taking a couple of nice deep breaths in, continuing to feel this being in front of you. You can even imagine this being placing their hands on your hand, or if it's an animal, placing their paws on your hands. And again, as they do so, feeling that warmth, feeling that love starting to surround you and your whole body. And as they do so, imagining that love and that kindness starting to move through your heart, move through your throat, move through your stomach into any areas of tension that you currently feel. Imagine this being looking at you and loving you in all that you feel, saying to you, it's okay to feel what you feel. This feeling does not define you. This feeling is not you, and I love you no matter what. Imagining that sense of their acceptance to soften any areas of resistance or shame or guilt that you have for any feelings that you are experiencing now, and any feelings or thoughts that you could experience in the future. Noticing that their acceptance and their unconditional love for you builds a new pathway within yourself to start to bring a little more kindness, compassion, and acceptance for whatever you may feel. Continuing to feel the love and the support of this being and this essence moving through you. And if there's again any sense of resistance or fear comes up, that's okay too. 
Know that you are still so loved in whatever is arising today. Now start to imagine that sense of love and that sense of compassion. Now moving outside of your body to about a couple feet around you to then moving more and more and more into the size of the room and the space that you're in. Feeling the sense of love getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you feel that you can just rest back into this love, feeling this love completely holding you. You are so loved in all that you are. You are so enough in all that you are. And you are so worthy in all that you are for anything you experience and for any sensation or anything that you feel. You are so loved in just being human and doing the absolute best that you can every single day. Feeling this love surrounding the room, I'm gonna invite you now to just gently start to bring your hands over to your heart. And as you do so, we're gonna step into another part of a loving kindness gesture for yourself. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you feel my love now. May your heart and your mind awaken. May you feel safe and may you remember that you are always enough. Now in the next minute or so, I'm going to invite you to repeat what I'm saying to you back into yourself. You're welcome to whisper this or you're welcome to just say it in your mind. But with your hands on your heart, giving the same gesture of loving kindness and repeating after me. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. May I feel safe. May my heart and mind awaken and may I always remember that I am so loved and enough. Gently place both arms around your shoulders, giving yourself a final squeeze, a hug. You're welcome to move your arms up and down of your shoulders, really feeling the self-embrace, knowing that the love that you felt today and the kindness that you felt today is always within you. And through this practice, we are creating a new pathway of compassion and love for yourself, which then extends out to love and compassion for others, for your partner and for the world.
I'm going to invite you again to just notice the space that you're in with your eyes closed, your back against the wall or the back against the bed or wherever you're laying down on and starting to feel that support. And with your eyes closed, starting to envision the room that you're in or the space that you're in, remembering the colors, remembering the walls that we started off looking at in the beginning and starting to feel sensations around your body as you wiggle your toes and you wiggle your fingers, feeling again the space that you're in and the objects around you. bringing your attention to my voice and any sounds that you can hear in the room and beyond the room. And giving yourself one final squeeze of gratitude for coming into this practice today, for doing this practice, for stepping into the work the somatic mindfulness compassion work of bringing awakening to yourself and to your relationship. Thanking yourself. You chose to be here. You did this work to be here and this is not easy. gently bringing your chin into your heart, giving yourself one final squeeze. And then when you're ready, moving in any way that feels good for you as you slowly start to open your eyes. Now take your time as you come back. Sometimes coming back, from such a deep state and being so deep into the unconscious subconscious part of the brain can feel a little bit shocking for the nervous system so take your time I do also want to say that we did do deep work today and we did go to different parts of the brain to unlock different feelings and different sensations and to create a complete new neural pathway for a lot of people in the practice of compassion, in the practice of care for ourselves. This practice can be done anytime, but it is not used in any way or should not be used in any way for reassurance. So if you're ever feeling such a heightened state of anxiety and you just kind of want to escape and avoid the anxiety, then this is not a good time to do the meditation. But you can do this meditation any other time and you can do it even a couple times a week to bring in more of a state of compassion for yourself. The practice of ROCD work and finding more freedom from ROCD and creating deeper intimacy with yourself and your relationship is greatly in the practice of the compassion that we can give to ourselves. And when we start to give ourselves that compassion, then that starts to ripple into being able to bring more understanding to others, empathy to others, compassion, love and intimacy to ourselves and our relationship. I so hope that this meditation was in some way helpful for you. If you're feeling heightened states of emotions, if you're feeling emotional, if there's been a lot that's come up for you and you're crying, know that that can be very normal and expected but if you're feeling a sense of complete despair or you're feeling like you need support please reach out to someone that you feel comfortable with or a therapist or a coach or someone that you feel you can trust but know that a lot of times in these meditations and these practices that a lot of stuff can come up and for many people it's a complete release and it's a release for a lot of the anxiety they've been feeling and a lot of emotions that have felt so pushed down and stuck. I thank you so much for being here with me, for stepping into this journey of awakening, not only for yourself, but for your partner and for the world. 
you are such a courageous incredible person and i'm so honored to constantly be able to support you and help you in the work that we do at awaken into love be gentle with yourself be loving with yourself be kind and be compassionate here's to being human everyone take care i'll talk to you soon bye bye